Greetings everyone, this is Phoenix Fire. This is not a narrated video. This is going to be just a quick brief background on how I got into this and why I do what I do. And then I'll get into the meat, the source, the real reason why I'm actually bringing you this video. I am a self-taught narrator. And for those of you that narrate, if you know, there's not a lot of information out there on educating you on how to get into this hobby or business or career. So about five months ago, November 2021, roughly, I've always been told I had a voice for radio or TV commercials. Being that I don't have a degree in that field, I decided, let me try my hand at narrating. Let me see what I can do. I've got a very boomy, sometimes raspy voice, and from what I've heard in podcasts and other narrations, those deeper, darker voices really do add some creep factor to some really, really spooky things. So upon doing my research on YouTube, which is my all-time favorite platform, days and days and weeks and weeks upon trying to find something, all I found mainly was go get yourself a computer, go get a microphone, and start recording. Well, and I did that. I started in an old apartment of mine, which had laminated hardwood floors and blank walls, pretty much. Got my computer set up in the mic, and I started recording. Unbeknownst to me, there's something called reverbance. And... For those of you that don't know what that means, that means echo in the room. It is a narrator or voiceover artist's worst enemy. Because when we record, we want it as quiet as possible so all you hear is our voice. No background noise, no dogs barking, kids crying, cars driving by. You simply just want the voice. So then I did even further homework because I didn't know what to record on. Luckily for me, I found a lot of information in the gaming community. I'm not a gamer, but there were plenty of channels on YouTube that actually provided me with information on the best microphones to use, the best recording software to use, and then luck fell upon me and I found some voiceover artists' YouTube channels and the world just opened for me. I finally found some channels that started teaching me how to record, how to treat your room acoustically with acoustic foam and blankets and things of that nature so you have a dead quiet recording space. This hobby of mine, in which I hope becomes a career one day, is not cheap. I will let anyone know that that's listening that wants to get into this business. It's not cheap, but it is so worth it in the end. When you hear your work completely finished, it's so worth it. So speed things up and here we are today. I actually have a studio in my home now that is completely acoustically treated. It is quiet in here. And I now have the microphones and the software that I need to bring my narrations alive. The other part of the homework that took the longest was teaching myself how to use the recording software, how to edit, how to add sound effects and music and all that goes into the stories that you all hear. You can sit down and record something in 5, 10, 15, 30 minutes or an hour. The editing is what takes the longest. I remember I just finished a story the other day. It took me almost eight hours. It took me 30 minutes to record it and eight hours to edit and piece it all together. But I wouldn't give it up for the world. This is a passion of mine. I've always wanted to do it. With that being said, the reason for this video, I have a few special thank yous to give out. I'll start off by saying for those of you that are already subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. It shows me that you like my work. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. These special thank yous I'm giving out are going to be some of my more recent subscribers that have been interactive with my channel. As of lately, I have lost my motivation and you guys have actually inspired me to keep going. So my very first 
thank you is to Heather Player. Thank you so much for all of your kind words and comments on my videos. Thank you. My next shout out goes to Creepy Clown Girl. Thank you especially so much for your kind words and for subscribing. I didn't know who you were or what you did. And when I clicked on your channel, I saw that you actually narrate. And that is so amazing. I have yet to get a subscriber that actually narrates. Thank you so much. Beaky, thank you especially. You did a video of this sort the other day where you think your subscribers and it inspired me to do the same thing because without listeners or subscribers, we would be sitting here narrating and talking to the void. But in doing so, subscribing and, and being interactive on other narrators' channels helps set the YouTube algorithm to bring our stories to light and our channels to light so people will actually see our our work so thank you so much i love 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 your channel you're a great narrator keep up the great work my gold star thank you goes to dark little voices i don't know what you did but apparently you shared either my channel or one of my stories and it has opened up the gates somewhere that has allowed a lot more people to see my work and I've gotten subscribers and all the comments and likes were because you did that thank you so much you were part of that 70% on reddit in which I went to your page took your story she something else recorded it and put it back on your page and said hey I hope you don't mind but I recorded this for you I hope you enjoy and thankfully for me you were so accepting and thanked me and told me you loved my rendition of your amazing piece of literature. So thank you so much. You have changed my life in a way and you've also inspired me to continue to narrate. So thank you so much. All of the thank yous that I'm giving out, especially the ones that I have mentioned so far, I'm going to link their channels in the description of this video so you all can go over and check out their work. Creepy Clown Girl, Beaky, and Dark Little Voices, they are narrators, so please go check out their channel. They've got some awesome stories and they do amazing work. So you guys go check them out, leave them a like, subscribe to their channel, comment on their stuff. The comments always, always, always gives narrators the encouragement to continue to go because as a narrator sitting here and recording something and then editing it takes a lot out of you sometimes and it burns you out really quickly but when you are done with a piece and you sit and you listen to it and then watch others enjoy your work it is the most rewarding thing i have ever done and i am so happy i took that leap of faith five months ago to get into this business before I close this out, I cannot forget to give someone the ultimate thank you crown. And that goes to my mother. Her name is Paula. You all will see her in the comment sections of my videos. That's my mom. She has been my biggest supporter since day one. And during the times I wanted to quit or just give up and, and return all the equipment and just shut it down, she has told me, I don't think so. You keep pushing yourself, you keep going. Turn all that negativity into motivation. Pick yourself up, get back in that chair, and record something. The crime documentaries or stories that you all see on my channel, I do those for my mom. My mother is a crime queen. She will spend days on end watching crime documentaries and whatnot on Netflix, on HBO, on Hulu, wherever she watches her stuff. She absolutely loves crime stories. I do those especially for her as a way to give back. She loves the way I narrate things, so... Mom, if you're listening, I love you so much. Thank you so much for supporting me. You are the queen of my heart. With that being said, you all, I'm gonna run. I've got some more content to get recorded and in the meantime as I always say 
Take care of yourselves and stay safe out there. Bye, guys.